Hi folks, it's Al Nigren again with the third of our New Jersey International Film Festival Filmmaker Interviews. And remember, we have a wonderful lineup of films, 25 New Jersey premiere films, or quite a few are world premieres as well, that will be taking place on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings between May 31st and June 16th at our state-of-the-art facility, Voorhees Hall, room 105, located at 71 Hamilton Street in New Brunswick, New Jersey, part of the Rutgers University campus. Today, I have a filmmaker here, L. E. Salas. He's the director of Dead Man Working, which is an amazing mockumentary. And if folks may not know what a mockumentary is, maybe you should tell them. Um, <clears throat> well, thank you very much for having me, by the way. Oh, my it's pleasure. It's, uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to be a part of the festival, because I have been watching a lot of what you've been doing, so, and because you're in Jersey and you're at the New Jersey International Film Festival. Thank you. Um, the mockumentary, um, I kind of feel like it's a mockumentary, but also a docufiction. Mockumentary is more um, the style, it's it's just fake, yeah. pretty much. It's yeah. it's mocking a documentary. This right. The docufiction for me is a, a mixture of, of real people talking about something that would be a fictional situation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, at first I did start calling Dead Man Working uh, a mockumentary, but eventually it evolved into uh, docufiction and what it is today. Yeah, I like that better actually. So this film does deal with current events of sorts, and it does play off of another film title, Dead Man Walking, right? Yes. But this Dead one has, happens also to plug into the zombie craze that's out there. So. Tell us a little yeah. bit about your film. Sure. Um, Dead Man, well, it does play off of Dead Man Walking, and not the movie, but the term. Mm. Um, and I think I might have just had that in my head from a green, the Green Mile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I remember them just yelling that in the movie. And then I just thought um, Dead Man Working would be a great title. Um, there's the, the movie has so many different layers, and it's it's rare that I do get to, to m talk about them mm. in a situation where I'm not in front of like a live audience because I, f I tend to forget a lot of things. But mm. Dead Man Working is a an allegorical docufiction about the dead coming back and taking jobs away from the living. <laughs> and um, I remember um, <clears throat> George Romero once saying, and it is very heavily influenced by George Romero. Um, I remember George Romero once saying that. Um, the dead coming back would be one of the scariest things, and w they're coming back to feed on people. Now, um, I felt like what would be even scarier would be the dead coming back and taking our jobs, especially <laughs> during this current economic climate. And, um, you know, it has gotten better, however, it's just like the living dead, it's just slow, and um, it'll, it'll get there. And a lot of times, um, that's what zombies do. They're slow, but they get there. They do get there. So that's really interesting because when I watched the film, I also got a sense that it focused perhaps on immigration reform and how many people always talk about how the illegals are taking folks' jobs away and, and somehow these zombies fit in very nicely to that motif. So, you know, science fiction has always been used to veil contemporary mm -hmm. issues and obviously your film does the same thing. Well, being uh, from parents of immigrants, I, I always tend to focus or have my projects focus on something or touch upon it. Um, and uh, when, I, when I saw these, first of all, the zombies, like they represent the economy, we mentioned that. Um, they also um, rep represent uh, immigration uh, because of the fact that you're creating workers who are, in a sense, I don't want to call immigrants empty, but in a sense, these workers are empty and you can do whatever you wish with them. Right. You don't have to pay them, mm -hmm. or if you do, you don't have to pay them very much. Mm -hmm. They technically don't need to eat. Uh, they don't need bathroom breaks. They don't need health care because they're already dead. So you're creating the perfect worker um, in these zombies. And there's one scene in particular that I do have in the movie where this daily, uh, I'm sorry, this um, construction worker or contractor has a choice between picking zombies are picking day laborers and at that point the day laborers become more expensive because he has to give them something yeah. so um, that's that's part of using that um, a lot of times Romero would use the situation that was happening at the moment like with Night of the Living Dead he would mm -hmm. use the 60s and the revolt and revolutions and or not revolutions but the um, upheaval or uprising that people were having a certain oh there's um, no question Night of the Living Dead has all these references mm -hmm. to the civil rights movement and, and although they claim that 
you know, it wasn't there, but it's pretty obvious. Well, he definitely took that and ran with it with the next film. And, um, you know, Dawn of the Dead was yeah. more about commercialism and the malls and everything. And then Day of the Dead was the bunkers because we were involved in all the Cold War and stuff. So, yeah. um, but, it, your, but your film is, you know, it, is really funny, too. I mean, I think our jury... Uh, came into me and they were <laughs> laughing hysterically. So I think folks will have a really great time at your film. And plus, if they scratch at the surface, they'll be able to get some more meaning than perhaps they would, you know, just going mm. to see a movie at the multiplex. The whole premise, I didn't want to make a film. My last film was absolutely uh, just meaty in the sense of educational. I wanted to kind of... Um, just put the whole chunk of, of, of what it was that I was trying to say in it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> didn't do so well because I think that a lot of people don't really like um, documentaries without the voice of God. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, this one, I felt like I needed to, I wanted to start getting into narrative film eventually and I wanted to um, experiment with uh, putting a narrative in it. And um, I consider myself a funny guy. I like laughing. I laugh at a lot of things. Um, <laughs> nothing is uh, off the table mm -hmm. as long as it's not incredibly offensive I, I, I wouldn't want to do but that I, but I, I think your film does that really masterfully and and oh folks you, you absolutely have to come and see Dead Man Working in fact that whole evening has got some films that really kind of deal with horror but in unique ways mm -hmm. and there's three short films prior to um, Ellie's film and uh, Dead Man Working will be playing on Saturday June 8th in Voorhees 105 at 7 p.m. you can get more information at njfilmfest.com or you can call us at 848-932-8482 thank you so much for coming thank you very much great seeing you likewise